All right, I think we're going to get started. Welcome, welcome everyone. Happy Friday. Um, my name is Melissa Carney. I am the Community Outreach and Graduate Support Manager here at Guiding Eyes. And it's a pleasure to be here with you all today celebrating the accomplishments of our students, both home training and residential. We're now having the unique experience of being able to bring both together. In the past, we've had the in-person component on campus as well as our home training graduates joining virtually, but this is a unique opportunity again for everyone to have the chance to equally participate and join in. Um, I'd like to start off first by thanking everyone who makes the guide dog journey possible. So of course that starts with our dedicated volunteers, the puppy raisers. You voluntarily take these dogs into your homes. You deal with everything from the teething phase to potty training to all of the odds and ends that go into raising a successful guide dog, teaching that dog basic obedience, socialization, good house manners. A lot of that foundation comes from you and we could not be more grateful. As a graduate myself, um, I know how challenging that must be. And I really appreciate you and your dedication to the mission and dedication to supporting graduates like myself and all of the graduates who are present on this call today. Of course, we know after the raisers do their part, the dogs then go into training. So I want to thank all of the guide dog mobility instructors and placement specialists for their dedication to making sure that the dogs succeed, making sure that there are matches um, appropriate for the students, and then of course supporting our students in class. So I think everyone on this call is a returning graduate and has had a dog previously. So that's pretty unique for us. But for our first time handlers especially, there's a huge transition involved. And these guide dog mobility instructors take the time to work with our students to customize their training, um, even from, from returning graduates, learning how to work with a new dog. There's a lot that goes into that journey, both physically and emotionally. So I just want to thank you for all your hard work and making sure that every team is successful in class and has the skill set to go home to be successful in the real world with their dogs. Of course, as we all know, your journey does not stop here. Whether you're a raiser, a graduate, a volunteer, we're always learning together. We're always growing as a community and evolving. We're always learning new strategies to succeed together, to work together. There's a ton of moving puzzle pieces and we could not be as triumphant as we are as an organization without looking at how well we collaborate together how every person's part in a guide dog journey is to support the next phase of that journey. To our graduates, I'm so proud of everything you have accomplished. You've dealt with a lot of challenges during this class. You've dealt with a lot of challenges as a result of the pandemic. And some of you have been waiting a while to get your dogs and we're so happy to see you here. This isn't the ending point for you. You know that when you go home, you have a lot of work to do to establish the bond with your dog. It's teamwork like no other. And it's a beautiful relationship that you're now embarking on. And I'm so happy to see what you've already accomplished and what you have yet to do in your journeys with your new guide dogs. I want to turn it over here to Gerald Brennett Meyer, who will give a recognition to our puppy raisers and name you all individually as a token of our appreciation for all you have done. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. 
And hi, and thank you all for joining us this afternoon. My name is Gerald Brennickmeyer, and I am the Director of Canine Program Development here at Guiding Eyes. I feel truly fortunate to have a job that allows me to work with the Puppy Program team because I get to see so much of the process that creates these wonderful teams graduating today. Although we can only meet virtually this time, we still, of course, wanted to celebrate the dogs and our graduates and all of our raisers, the ones who make this day possible. Here at Guiding Eyes, we have over 1,500 volunteers who help make this organization what it is. Without them, we could not function. And within that number, there's an exceptional group we call the Razors. It is an overly simple name for a group of people who do so much. Raising a future guide dog takes a lot of time, patience, compassion, a willingness to learn, a lot of repetition, and sometimes a little grit and persistence. Your willingness to open your homes to puppies, go to class, show them the world, and of course love them is what makes this all possible. As raisers, you chose to help a puppy grow up into a confident and obedient dog ready to take on the work and the world. You changed not only the path of that puppy, but also the path for the graduate. So thank you again from all of us for putting a piece of your heart into the guide dogs that are graduating today. Your commitment to helping both is amazing. And now I'd like to announce the names of the dogs and their raisers. We had Bushka raised by the Rauschenbach family, Dahlia raised by Lena Jonai and Pashka Naden. Ferrari had two raisers, Deborah Koyman and the Walternist family. Gabe had three raisers, the Waronsky family, Matthew Nada, and the Landless family. Graham was raised by the Higginbotham family. And Greg was raised by Nancy and John Mashmeyer. And Van Dyke had two raisers, Tom and Lori DeCampo and Deborah Dick. So thank you again from all of us. You did an amazing job. And I'd like to turn it back over to Melissa. Thank you, Gerald. I now want to announce and congratulate all of our new guide dog teams. We have Krista Dubeck and Van Dyke, Kira McCall and Ferrari, Christian Gonzalez and Gabe, Kimberly Holly and Dahlia, and Dula Jarvo and Bushka, Alex Barrasso and Graham, and Crystal Davis and Greg. Congratulations, all of you. I now want to see if any of our placement specialists or guide dog mobility instructors would like to speak to our graduates and their experience in classes. And if not, we have three wonderful graduate speakers that I'm sure you'll enjoy hearing from. All right, I think we will move on to our graduate speakers. Alex, would you mind kicking us off? Happy to, Melissa. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I thought I would talk a little bit about why I sought out Guiding Eyes uh, and what it means to me. Um, in terms of why I sought it out, um, it is just a top quality institution across the board. And I know this because this is my third dog from Guiding Eyes over 30 years. And despite changes in training techniques and personnel, um, the, the, the institution has just remained absolutely outstanding. Um, in terms of what I think of when someone says guiding eyes to me, 
Um, it's a place where you're excited to talk about poo and pee because when your dogs go, you, you're very happy. Um, taking dogs out is called parking with a C. And if you spell park with a C and then you reverse those letters, you get a word best not spoken in this setting. It's a place to where you're happy to have slobber on your right hand. Why? Because that means you and your dog are working well together and you're giving your dog lots of treats. And I never thought I would say this, but it's a place where this month we actually say thank you to COVID. Of course, we would have preferred that nobody would have caught it, but a few people did. And we wish them a full and speedy recovery. Um, but as an unforeseen and unintended consequence of that having happened, um, those of us who were on campus in class uh, as of this past Sunday ended up going home early and getting uh, home training in our neighborhoods. Uh, you know, very, very personalized instruction, um, which was an incredible way to finish out. Um, it's also a place where we gain a level of unparalleled independence. As one instructor put it to me, um, your cane is your obstacle finder and your dog is your obstacle avoider. I'll talk a little bit more about independence later. Um, it's a place where a dog and a handler become a team and where everyone has an unwavering commitment to what they do from the kitchen staff, to the trainers, to the instructors, um, to the admissions team, the placement team, the vet hospital team, the nursing team, um, the breeders and the client experience team. So thank you, thank you, thank you um, for all that all of you do to make each team a successful partnership. And I also wanna say thank you to the donors. We know you have choices and uh, we're immensely grateful that you uh, grace guiding eyes with your generosity. And we hope we can continue to can count on your support. I also wanna thank the puppy raisers. We know how much time it takes and effort to train and discipline these dogs, to give them love, and to expose them to different environments. Uh, and, and we can only imagine how difficult it is when you have to send these dogs back to guiding eyes uh, and part with them. Uh, they're taking a piece of them with you, uh, a piece of you with them, and they're bringing that piece to us as graduates. So let me end by just describing the independence that I mentioned earlier. It means that we as handlers are not alone. We now have companions, trusted companions with us to keep us safe. We can navigate double-edged subway platforms even when those edges are not well marked without worrying about falling on the tracks. We can now walk confidently along any sidewalk without worrying about the obstacles because the dog is navigating them for us. Because of the walk, work the dogs do, we're more rested when we get to our destination and more prepared either to do our jobs at work or to serve our families at home. And it's the peace of mind uh, that you give our loved ones, knowing that when we're out, we're safe because we've got our furry companions with us. That's what all of you empower us to do because of, of your heart and soul that you pour into this institution. And I hope that it's going to continue to remain uh, the outstanding place it is for many, many future generations of graduates. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alex. That was so well said, beautiful. Eloquent. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. And 
I, I, I am still having a good laugh over uh, Guiding Eyes as a place to pee and poop. I think that's hysterical. So thank you for that. I next want to turn it over to Dula to say a few words. Thanks, Melissa. Um, so um, I am currently working with Vishka, um, and she is my forest guide dog from Guiding Eyes. She is my third dog that I have done home training with. Uh, and this particular journey has been a bit more challenging for me. Um, I started the application process in 2019. Um, end of 2019. Uh, at that time, my previous guide dog was, she was starting to slow down. She was getting old. Um, I wasn't sure when she was going to need to retire. Um, and I knew that uh, I would need to be in the specialized training program this time around because I have a, um, a number of medical issues that I did not have when I trained with my previous guide dog. Um, and then the pandemic hit and uh, it took a long time for me to um, get my health form cleared. Um, and my previous guide dog retired. Uh, and four months later, we were putting her to sleep. Um, and I didn't know when I was gonna get my next guide dog. Um, and um, with my previous dogs, there hadn't been a very long wait time between retiring one and training with the next um, successive guide dog. So um, I think this was about six months that I was using my cane. And uh, I'm not going to say I'm a terrible cane user because I'm not, but it's frustrating when you're used to working with a guide dog who does avoid obstacles and you go back to using a cane and it, you're finding everything and you don't want to be finding everything um, and um, I didn't know you know when they were going to find a match for me because of uh, having a slower pace um, because of having medical issues I'm on um, supplemental oxygen um, and that impacts uh, how I walk and need to stop sometimes and take breaks. Um, and so it was a pleasant surprise when um, Bushka became available. Um, and this home training was a little bit different because in the past, um, I was used to a trainer bringing me the dog and they've been working with the dog for a while. So they had the bond. Um, and in this case, the dog uh, Bushka got flown out to the trainer who worked with me. Um, so she didn't know much more about my dog than I did. Um, you know, but we um, went through the training. Uh, and, you know, she's uh, a good match. And she's very different from my previous dog. Uh, each dog is usually different. And you have to learn how to except um, the new new dog just like a new person um a different personalities and i see that our bond is slowly growing um the other day we were trying to get into an elevator and the door closed before we could get in and she actually pushed me backwards so that we didn't get hit by the door um you know and and when you are with a new dog and you experience things like that, that's what starts building that trust and that bond. Um, so that's, things like that are, are great experiences. And um, I would definitely like to thank the puppy raisers. Um, I have a self-trained PTSD dog. So I raised him from four months old I have some of that experience of uh, training a puppy and it's a lot of work. And I have a lot of respect for the racers for doing that and putting so much into a dog and then letting them go back to the school and go out to 
um, do their job for us. And then I'd also like to thank my um, trainer. You know, she did a lot of work with me and um, did a good job. And um, I'd like to thank Guiding Ice in general. They've given me now four amazing dogs um, and they continue to give me great support. Um, and I, I appreciate all that that the school does and um, also the, the donors. Without you, we wouldn't be able to have these wonderful dogs. So thank you. Thank you so much, Dula. I'm so glad to hear that you're bonding so well with Pushka and it is those, those stories of simplicity, honestly, that are so impactful. Something as simple as being saved from an elevator door. It may seem simple on the surface, but in, to us, it's so much more meaningful than that. To us, that means you trust me just as much as I trust you and you're looking out for me in more ways than I could even imagine. So thank you so much for sharing that story and that impact that Bushka has already had on your life. Uh, next, I would like to introduce Krista. Krista, if you would like to say a few words. Is it, did I get the microphone on? Yes. First, okay. I'm doing this without my assistive technology, so I can't see it. Um, I am on my second dog with Guiding Eyes. Uh, kind of can relate to both situations. Um, I too had to become a full-time cane user for about eight months before I ended up with Van Dyke. Um, I jokingly say my cane never listens to me when I ask it to find the button, because it doesn't. <laughs> um, we did home training. We are a week out of home training now and adjusting to regular life. Um, went to work a few days this week and he did amazing there. Um, dog distractions are our big issue at the moment, um, but we're working through it. <laughs> and I can also relate to Alex and the, the whole poop and pee because we're having a lot of issues with him deciding that he doesn't like where I take him out. So that's been a struggle too, but um, we are, the biggest reason I picked Guiding Eyes initially for my first dog was um, the ability to have my dog cross train for balance support. Um, Guiding Eyes is one of the only schools that actually advertises the fact that they have the special training component. Um, you don't hide the fact, which I very much appreciate. Um, I need a dog that walks at a much slower pace. Uh, however, Van Dyke and I can walk way faster than my previous guide and I ever could. Um, that's what we gain from adding an additional 10 pounds of solid dog behind me. And it's it's been it's it's been very interesting because he guides so completely differently than my first dog. So it's like starting it. I mean, it is starting over, but even some of the basics is starting over because it's he does he works so differently. Um, he is Ike most of the time. We have shortened Van Dyke to Ike. And um, a, I'll end with one funny story from training. We were out doing our route around our neighborhood and um, I live in a very industrial area of my town. So they're putting murals up on a bunch of the old warehouses and stuff. And Ike did a really good job of getting me around the obstacle of the ladder and whatever else they had out. And so I praised him and gave him a treat on the other side, and, you know, said, good boy. And the guy who was up on the ladder painting goes, thanks. <laughs> well, that was our, 
hilarious moment of training. Um, again, thank you to all the puppy raisers and Mike for doing home training. Um, we, I have a lot of other medical issues, so coming to campus just isn't really feasible for me and you guys make it work. And again, thanks for everything. Thank you, Krista, and I couldn't agree more. Our specialized training program is one of a kind and allows people to get guide dogs who would have ordinarily be turned, ordinarily have been turned away from other programs. So we're really happy to make sure that we're not only looking at blindness, but we're looking at other disabilities and other needs as well and making sure that we serve those appropriately. The, the crazy part is I don't even really qualify at this point with how well Ike guides, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> right. Well, congratulations to Alex, Dula, and Krista, and all of our other graduates who were able to come on the call today. Um, again, we're so happy for all you've accomplished, and we look forward to hearing about more funny stories, more um, more adventures that you've gone on and all the new places that you're going to travel to with greater and confident greater confidence and independence that a guide dog gives you i'd like to personally thank everyone for coming today and to close off our graduate ceremony is mika white one of the newest staff members to Guiding Eyes and one of our client experience navigators. Thank you, Melissa. Um, I, I just want to um, congratulate all of you again, our, our students who are just very busily traveling in their, in their where they live and, um, I just want to thank our placement and our placement specialists for doing a ton of hard work and working with our students and um, everyone who's gotten these wonderful dogs ready and prepared and um, to thank our to thank the puppy raisers um, as a grad myself there are there are, I really greatly appreciate um, all of your hard work and um, and, and especially um, kind of getting past not having to do some of the some of the more challenging parts of, of handling a puppy. So thank you. Thank you for everything that you that you do. You all are absolutely incredible. Um, once again, thank you to um, thank you to our our donors as well um, for contributing um, and and. Um, finally, I just want to say that graduation is so special to me because it is the culmination of all of this hard work that has gone in to preparing, preparing a guide dog team. And so to that, I say, pick up those harness handles and move forward. Thank you so much for attending. Thank you, Mika. For anyone who'd like to stick around, we're creating a virtual version of what we usually offer, which is a bit of um, a bit of chit chat for anyone who'd like to mingle. Um, before it would be in Rosie's, now we're having it over Zoom. So for anyone who'd like to stick around, ask any questions, um, just chat for a bit. We're going to keep the Zoom room Zoom room open a bit longer. But thank you all so much for attending. To those of you who need to step away.